Okay, so now let's see the uh, directory structure of the, the project, of the Laravel project. So here I got the project open in the code editor in the Visual Studio. And um, I'm going to try to explain you, you know, to try to, to, to show you um, some basic of the, you know, the, the directory and the uh, file structure of the, the project, of the Laravel project. So at least I'm going to try to explain the, the, the ones we're going to touch, at least those, those ones, because I think uh, we are not going to touch all the files, all the folders, but uh, there are some of the files, some of the folders which will going to touch in this course. So I'll try to explain you, just make you at least have an uh, idea about, you know, the folders and the files we're going to touch. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to try to explain is, uh, you know, we have the files. So the files are from here. Uh, so we got this list of files. So um, let's try and see that's, that's um, a few of them. Uh, that That's there, there are some files which we gonna touch on this course, but there are other, other files, other files which we, we never gonna touch. Yeah. So first of all, this file here, um, this file, editor, uh, editor config, it's a file uh, which has uh, the configuration for the editor. So it's, it's, it's not gonna. Uh, um, you can even delete this file, so we're not gonna touch this one yet. But just make a, make a notice of that. This is a file. Uh, uh, you know, um, you know, for, for the code editor, you know, saving some, you know, type of editing, you know. So anyway, uh, another another file which we're gonna touch um, is this one, .env. Yeah. What this file does is uh, it's saving all the you know configuration for the application. So these are you know credentials, you know, for for some of the configurations for for the project. For example, what we're gonna use uh, is the connection of the database which is here so we're gonna specify you know the type of connection you know this is the ip the port anyway uh, the, the important thing will be the name of the database the root and the password yeah so this uh, is uh, the configuration for the for the database which we will gonna touch um another thing which we can you know like uh, can we we can touch is this configuration yeah this uh, is the configuration of the application where we can add the name of the you know the name of the um, the project like for example here uh, the type of the you know environment which will be local you know like development um, the URL which is this one for the application um, so um, this is for the for the application yeah uh, another another thing we can touch uh, and um, probably we're gonna do it is um, is this one here for the mild client you know and um, anyway so just bear in mind this dot env is where we add our credential you know, for the configuration for some of the, uh, the some of the parts of the the, uh, the the project yeah so this dot env uh, file will be added to the git ignore yeah the git ignore as you can see here is the file where um, we can specify the file to be ignored when we are gonna commit them to the server. Yeah, so this is one of the file will be which will be um, will not be committed to the server because this is a, a development environment. Yeah, so in the production environment we're gonna have a different file, different one which will be dif uh, will differ. So it will be different than this one. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's see next file which we can see. Those ones are for the um, Git and you know, related with Git, so we're not gonna uh, probably the Git ignore. We, we can add like uh, files or folders which we want. We don't want to commit them to the to the server, right? Okay, another file which we can see is this one, artisan. Yeah, this file. If we open this file. This file um, is uh, what it does is recognizing, you know, the artisan command. So if we type commands, artisan commands in the console, this file will, uh, you know, will uh, read those commands and will understand those commands. So um, for those who don't know what artisan is, we're gonna see it next uh, in next video tutorials, and we're gonna use it. You know, artisan is a tool which we can run commands and 
create like controllers, controllers, models, you know, factories, a lot of stuff of Laravel we can create through this command line, which will be very easy and very cool to use, you know, very handy. Uh, will it it will help us a lot because this will create automatically you know without having to write any any line of code yeah we just if for example we write here php artisan i can show you the you know the list of commands so which is this one so we can use all those commands for example for example we have the the make the make uh, commands you see you can see here this is the list of the make um for example, we have the um, the ones we're gonna use the the controller, you know, factory. We have the model, so uh, we we have a lot of commands which uh, we can use. But some of them we're gonna use in this course, and you're gonna see and understand what this and how this works. So just keep in mind, bear in mind, this is this artisan file is just uh, recognizing all these commands and uh, be able to read them. Okay, so another file which. Um, let me see. It's uh, the composer JSON and the uh, composer look. Yeah, so those two files. One of them, the composer JSON file, is where all the dependencies for this project will be sa saved. Yeah, uh, if we want to add a package or you know to to the project, we need to specify here. Or if we run like like for example, co composer uh, require and the name of the package, this will be added to this uh, file, right? So this is what this composer JSON is for. Uh, the, the another file uh, uh, which I mentioned before is composer lock, which will lock, um, you know, our dependencies in the specific um, version. Yeah, um, this uh, is helpful, you know, because sometimes if we, you know, give the project for, or someone else wants to work. Uh, in uh, our project or they want to have the same project they if and if they need the same version they don't have to do anything they will have the same version as us you know so this is what this file is for as well another file which we can see is this one those ones those two first of all the package json um, package uh, package json uh, it's uh, similar to composer json but for note yeah for javascript so here are, are the dependencies for for the uh, for the project yeah for the framework and uh, the other file will do the same as uh, the composer log do for the composer json so these are for php yeah the composer json and the package json will be per, for, will be for node yeah okay um and um let's see another file which we can see is this one the last one here and what this does if we open this um, here this is a file which will uh, be able to compile you know the the assets files so for example we have the json uh, the javascript files which are here for example this road um, this will compile those files yeah and send them to this public J, uh, js folder uh, compiled already yeah so this is what this do this is for javascript and the same will be for the for the css will search for this file and compile them and send it to this folder right so if you want to add more l later on we're gonna have a video tutorial a video where we're gonna uh, do this compiled stuff uh, when we're gonna um, you know uh, adapt a front-end team to our laravel framework and we need to you know other styles you know the javascript and the css and we kind of need to compile them yeah so basically this is what these files you know all, all these files does um i hope makes sense now let's go um to the folders and see you know at least the ones we're gonna use more and uh, uh, just have an idea about what you know what is um what we're gonna use at least in this course now the files we're gonna see um we're gonna uh, see the the ones we're gonna touch but um if we're gonna see more in in in, in future uh in this project we're gonna try to explain e uh, uh, each of them so for example um let's let's try this vendor vendor folder if we open this we have all the dependencies packages here yeah? so 
uh, I remember we have the composer JSON and um, it's where um, from that file is where we're gonna add all you know dependencies packages so this will not uh, will will never gonna touch this uh, this folder so this will be just to know this uh, the packages we will we're gonna add to the project will be added to to this folder yeah um, I got this theme folder this theme folder is I created because I ha I have had uh, my you know the themes for this project which are HTML based you know j just a uh, basic HTML and JavaScript CSS and JavaScript okay so um, this test folder this test folder it's used for the testing yeah so here is all the testing necessary you know to be able to test this uh, this application this this project yeah storage is where you're gonna store you know logs uh, here in the apps public we can save you know like uh, image folders um, so this is for storage yeah um, uh, the next folder is the roots this folder um, is storing our roots this will gonna touch a lot the web and the uh, API as well we're gonna we, we, we're gonna touch this as well so for, for example the web it's storing all the you know the roots for this project so here we're gonna see how to create roots you know for the for the for the project so when you're gonna type something in the browser um, these roots we're gonna call we're gonna call you know a controller uh, or a action or a view so or a function so whatever you like to call uh, for example you have you see you see here home about so this will call some view f uh, files which will uh, show on the you know in the front end or whatever you want to show that on or even in the back end okay so this uh, road folder just remember that we're gonna touch uh, the most will be this web file so just remember this will be the the road folder yeah resources here is where all the assets will be saved so here we're gonna add our javascript our sas you know so is this one here let me just mark this so this is where we're gonna add all the you know the the the, the, the javascript the sas you know language and uh the most important we're gonna use as well uh, is our views yeah so any controller we're gonna some of the method of the controller um, we're gonna have uh, views yeah because we need to show um, you know the 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 HTML view will be on this uh, call will be called from from this folder views yeah so here we're gonna have all the views all the views for our controllers we're gonna see this as well in the in the, in the next video tutorials okay um, another folder we can see is this public this public this public folder what is uh, um, containing this is um, you know the JavaScript uh, CSS images used yeah, by the project you will see I'm gonna when we are gonna start build the you know the the front end and the back end you're gonna see because we're gonna compile the files from the resources so will be the from from the uh, from this file from this folder or the CSS and the JavaScript yeah will be compiled and send it to this public yeah so later on we're gonna see so we'll be this will be we'll send the files here uh, but already compiled so this is what public will be used for so from here we're gonna serve to the, all the asset the images we're gonna um will this will be used from for, uh by the project yeah but later on we're gonna see and understand understand better how this works okay but just bear in mind this the public folder is where our you know assets and images will be you know take it take take it from the uh, by the by the project yeah anyway uh, let's continue the next one is the database the database folder is where we're gonna save our database migrations factories which we're gonna see in the in the seeds yeah we're gonna see in the project as well the the migration the migration uh, files we are uh, files which um, are creating our tables editing the tables updating you know deleting so uh, we run artisan commands and uh, we are executing this those files and those files if i open one of them 
for example let me let me create uh, open this so you see this is like um you know um you, you can see here all the you know all the the all the columns of the table you see id name email so this will be created by this um by this file so this will create a table which uh, contain all these fields yeah rows okay so and the factory we're gonna see as well what factory does is um it's, it's helping us um adding uh, you know d dummy data you know instead of adding manually this will be for example you can create uh, a user here is a user and we'll create dummy data by executing this so many uh, as many times you want okay later on we're gonna see as well how this works so just keep in mind database what is uh, what is uh, this folder f for okay another directory is the config f which uh, this is saving configuration for the application so we're not gonna touch too much here the bootstrap um, bootstrap here it's where the application is running from yeah so this is uh, the folder where the, the application will will run will start from okay so we're not gonna touch e either here and um, the most uh, we're gonna touch as well is the app folder um, HTTP and controller so we have uh, in the inside of the app folder we're gonna have models uh, models yeah so we have let me just we have this model which is user already created so here in the inside of this let me just close this all so we're gonna we can save inside of uh, uh, straight in the app folder we can save the, our models which we're gonna see because we're gonna create models in this course and you're gonna see we're gonna create them here yeah um, controllers will be saved in the app http controllers so here is where we're gonna save our controllers as you can see here we have already um, we have this controller which is home controller yeah but here we're gonna add our controllers so basically um, what we're gonna use um, the most we're gonna use will be the app HTTP controllers here we're gonna add our controllers let me just mark this so here we're gonna add the controllers inside of the app we're gonna add the models yeah as you can see there is already a model there and then we're gonna use the database which we're gonna save our our um, migration and factories the public is where we're gonna use our assets roads is where we're gonna save the roads yeah um and um and then basically what we can use as well you know is this file where we're gonna start in uh, add our compiling yeah stuff so this is how this uh, laravel structure um, of the folder is i hope this video explain you the basics of the structure of the folders and files and, um, and from starting from next tutorial we're gonna start and build the project if you like this video please give a like and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to our channel